and welcome back to Stock Trek. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. I hope you all remember me because I sure did remember you, and that is why I am back. Now, I know I have been gone for a while, and I will say one thing though I have not stopped watching Rocket Lab. This beautiful ascent to the sky as far as the stock price from the sideline and obviously I still have my stock I've still been watching everything keeping track of everything I just have not had the time unfortunately to keep up the stock track channel due to some personal things that were going on on the side I just there was just not enough time in my days but now I've gotten through the things I had to do and now I have time so I am officially back I will be doing Rocket Lab Saturday every Saturday going over all things Rocket Lab from the stock price to the Neutron development to just you name it Rocket Lab everything so be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and follow along for our trek and following Rocket Lab. Now, as far as Rocket Lab's latest developments that have caught my eye, people might think it's not a big deal. This reorganization, this corporate reorganization that Rocket Lab just completed, they went from Rocket Lab USA to Rocket Lab Corporation. I know, it was a big leap, a huge name change. I'm kidding, but uh, you know what I mean. So this reorganization might not seem like a big deal to some of you, but it's huge to me because it's a, it's a positive signal. It is like a bull sign, okay? Not bearish at all, it's all bullish, and I'm excited because reorganization, this is, this is some key points that I wanna point out about this reorganization. So this reorganization is because of growth, obviously, and all this massive growth that they've accomplished as a company. They reorganized from Rocket Lab USA into Rocket Lab Corporation. Rocket Lab USA is a subsidiary of Rocket Lab Corporation, and that is perfect, and I'm gonna tell you why. It makes getting other subsidiaries under Rocket Lab Corporation much easier, and it takes a lot of like liability when you diversify and you don't just have it all under one company name per se when you start you know having all your stuff diversified it's it's more protection for those companies for the assets of that company uh so this is a good thing it's basically just protection diversification and it makes it easier to get more subsidiaries now think you know when neutron is developed they have their own constellation right that's what we all want to see and let's say they have their own product they're probably going to spin it off as a subsidiary under that rocket lab corporation umbrella okay so this is a good sign another thing is is that it's a delaware company in the united states now delaware is like a tax haven okay for big corporations so this is a very strategic move on rocket lab because they are going to be saving some moolah on their taxes uh this is definitely a good thing it's gonna you know it's gonna come back to us as shareholders we're gonna see some positives I'm sure in the financials so again this whole strategic uh, corporation thing that they did I I'm liking it I think it's a very positive sign and you know it's actually better than what people think most people just think ah it's just a little name change blah 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 but really it's bigger than that and it's a growth signal it's signaling massive growth that happened already and massive growth that's going to continue to happen in the future so it's very forward thinking very future thinking and very strategic on rocket labs part for doing this uh so green light coming from me now rocket lab just completed its sixth mission the sea god seas so apparently poseidon was watching the launch <laughs> but that happened on may 17th and it was a success of course rocket lab is very good at delivering successful missions but this next upcoming launch is also going to be a success fingers crossed and that is a uh, full stream ahead and that launch depending on where you live in the world if you are a Kiwi living in New Zealand in the future uh, it'll be happening on May 28th and if you are in the US like me 
If you're in the Eastern time zone, it's gonna happen probably around 9.30 p.m.-ish on May 27th. So definitely follow me on X, you know, slash Twitter if you are from the days of old, <laughs> under Stock Trek Girl. And I will definitely keep you posted on those launch timelines. So you could go ahead and watch a live stream of the launch. And uh, I always love watching the launches. You know, they never get old. No matter how many times you watch a Rocket Lab launch, it just never gets old. So uh, we'll definitely be watching that on May 27th. So full stream ahead will be Rocket Lab's seventh launch of the year. Okay, lucky number seven, that's a good number. Uh, now, according to the launch cadence, last year in 2024, for the whole entire year, they launched like 16 launches, okay? So this year, we're already coming up on the seventh launch. If they keep up this pace, uh, I'm seeing good turnaround between this next launch um, and the last one of the Sea God Seas. It was like 10 days, right? Like 10, 11 days. So uh, that's a great turnaround rate. If they can keep up this pace, I think we are gonna smash launch records this year. We're gonna bypass that record of 16 and we're just gonna soar right on past it. Not to mention Neutron uh, later this year. So we might be seeing some wet rehearsals, you know, maybe launch, hopefully. I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say it's going to happen because who knows? We all know that things with Neutron can, you know, they can get pushed back. But I am an optimist. I, I try to be optimistic um, and pessimistic at the same time. I know it's, yeah, I know. It's kind of an oxymoron. But I am optimistic and pessimistic at the same time. So I am hopeful that they are going to get this Neutron launched at the end of this year but I am also pessimistic that, hey, you know, things happen, things can get delayed, we never know, so let's just keep an open mind. However, I'm excited with the stock price because as I told you, I own Rocket Lab stock, I've owned it from like day one, okay? Before they were even the RKLB ticker symbol, okay? So I owned it way before, way, way, way back in the day. Still own it and uh, I, I always knew this was gonna be a winning stock, which is why I covered it. I made it like the sole purpose, mostly of this channel, was to cover Rocket Lab. Obviously, uh, I am branching out. I am doing a lot more than just Rocket Lab. And since I'm coming back, I'm still gonna be branching out and giving you guys amazing content on other things that you are absolutely gonna love. If you're a fan of Rocket Lab, you are gonna love the things that I'm going to be delivering to you. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss all the other cool stuff that I'm going to be going over. Uh, believe me, if you love Rocket Lab, you're going to love what I have to talk about. Rocket Lab does have this Air Force collaboration going on for the Neutron rocket for cargo missions. Now, I think that this is a really, really good sign for Neutron. I mean, think about it. Neutron isn't even fully operational and we already have the Air Force you know, coming to us, giving contracts, saying, hey, you know, we, we want to use your services. I mean, this is just, just imagine the amount of trust that the government has in the capability and the technology that Rocket Lab can deliver with this Neutron rocket, with their pre previous rockets. I mean, this is showing trust, okay? And that's a good thing because we want to see revenue other than just launches, right? We, we are getting other revenue via the space systems, but to have that government contract, that's like extra. I mean, who doesn't want that? This is great for the stock. This is great for the shareholders. I am very happy about it. Um, it's exciting because this is gonna open the door for more contracts and Think about it. I mean, there's talk about a golden dome being built for the United States, you know, within the what, the next three years, possibly, possibly with billions of dollars in funding. Now, is this really going to happen? I don't know. We'll see. But I do think Rocket Lab would be strategically positioned to, you know, benefit in some way from something like that. Uh, I'm sure it's not all just going to go to SpaceX or whoever. I'm sure Rocket Lab could get a piece of that pie in some way, shape, or form. So that is something else to keep in mind. I mean, right now, the stock is at a pretty good price. 
I think from when I last covered it. I, I think anyone that started investing while I was covering the stock should be sitting very happy right now. If you don't recall, it was back when it was like $3 a share when I was going over all this. And I said it would go to 20. Oh, here we are at 20. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say what I think it's gonna go to next, but I'm not gonna say it in this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for a Rocket Lab Saturday to, to give you my piece on that. So definitely stay tuned where I think this stock is heading from here, where we're at currently. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say happy Memorial Day. Uh, let you all know that I am back. I don't think YouTube thinks I'm back yet though. I think it, you know, might take a while for YouTube to figure it out, but I will be pushing out videos. I will be making content for all of you. So if you all wanna be of help, let YouTube know I'm back. Hit the like button, send me a comment. Let me know what other videos you want me to create. Like, do you want me to cover another space stock? Is there something else you have your eye on? Is there something in particular about Rocket Lab that you have a question about? Be sure to put it into the comments section below. And by the way, I'm so happy to see you guys. I know I've been gone, so it's nice to see that you all remember me and say hello in the comments. If you were one of those people that followed me from way back when, right? When we were following Rocket Lab and we were trekking along at like $3 a share, and now, thank goodness, we are beyond $3 a share. We are well beyond that. Uh, we are pretty much to the moon, but not quite. We, we still have a ways to go because I think this stock is going somewhere special, maybe even beyond the moon. So again, I'll cover that some other time. Until next time, I'll see you on Rocket Lab Saturday and invest long and prosper.